Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Our Saturday thus far has been unsettled with showers and thunderstorms thanks to this upper level low continuing to slide eastbound and some of us have picked up a healthy amount of rain, which we so badly need. Mechanicsburg heading up to Cumberland County over an inch, a little bit less in Gettysburg, but still between a half an inch and an inch of rain. Same for Schaeferstown in 8100s, just about three quarters in Enola, Lancaster. Now this isn't at uh, LNS out at the airport, but a spot in Lancaster here in the county over half of an inch of rain. Same story in York, over half of an inch. New Franklin heading westbound, about four tenths, a little bit less in E-Town, and really not that much at Harrisburg International Airport, only getting just over 1500s. May add a little bit more to this, but we're starting to see that rain taper off. Still seeing some lightning strikes up across parts of um, Looks like Burke, Schuylkill, and still Lebanon County. A little bit of rain lingering there across southeastern reaches of the county with a few sprinkles continuing to swing on through. But overall, a drier evening is uh, expected as this air flow pressure starts to work away from us. But we're already tracking our next system, the cold front out across the uh, middle part of the nation right now. Plenty of severe thunderstorm warnings and some tornado warnings with this line that's currently working through Missouri and eventually we're going to see more moisture moving in our direction. We can see some of the conditions uh, now here across the area, at least in Lancaster, starting to break up and uh, seeing the clouds trying to thin just a little bit. That trend going to continue through the remainder of the evening. We're back into the middle 60s to around 70. Again, watching out for maybe a stray sprinkle, but it's still a little muggy out there. And I think that's going to be the feel through the overnight with some saturated ground could have some patchy fog with the help of the light wind. Temperatures going to remain above normal in the middle 50s to around 60. And then tomorrow more in the way of sunshine and temperatures ahead of this cold front going to spike back into the 80s. And with that feel that stickier feel more moisture in the air, it's going to feel like summer with some showers developing late in the evening as that cold front begins to move in. Temperatures top out definitely warmer tomorrow, but we're still above average today and we've stuck around in the 70s in Sealands Grove. The same for Gettysburg. It's 71 here in the Red Rose City. The same goes for you in Chambersburg. Predictor shows temperatures staying above normal. There's the clearing though, predictor as we head through late this evening. I think it's going to be one of those nights where it's going to feel like maybe more like June uh, compared to April with the temperatures in the 50s and 60s. We'll start off with some sunshine tomorrow and then we start to see uh, the cold front working closer to us by later in the evening ahead of it. As I mentioned, temperatures spiking into the 80s. Then we start to see the moisture moving in. I think most of it arriving past sundown, but some of our western locales may see a little bit of moisture activity by uh, the late part of the evening. And then you can see through the overnight, hit or miss showers, maybe a few rumbles as it slides eastbound. But I think it's all out of here by the time we get going for the morning commute. I think it's even before the sun rises on Monday, we'll have a cooler air starting to take over, and that's going to lead to a more seasonable Monday for us. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does show temperatures getting back into the 50s. A chilly Tuesday, not much sunshine, maybe a sprinkle. We're back into the 60s Wednesday, Thursday, the 70s, and we keep warming to end the work week, but that's ahead of another cold front that'll bring some showers late Friday into Saturday. And behind that cold front, we're back into the lower 60s Sunday, and we stay a little cooler as we head through the first half of next week there, Jer. Coming up in sports.